I'm uh, I'm still kind of battling this overheating issue. Yeah, I moved the swirl pot a little bit higher than the radiator, and I think that helped it out a bit um, because the radiator and the swirl pot are almost just about the same height. So there's not that much space for the air to expand at the top of the swirl pot. So what I'm thinking about doing is possibly buying a new radiator and it's gonna be just about under here rather than it have a tilt back to clear the actual bar and hood. So with it being shorter, I could probably run a bigger fan shroud since it'll be closer to the front end of the car and I'll have all the clearance back here so I can run a, uh, a good gap between the fan shroud and the actual radiator so that way the low pressure actually goes through the entire radiator and it's not as close as this one is here. I don't know if I should do that. I don't know if it's going to be the most effective way to go about this or maybe I'll just take the radiator, maybe mount it a little bit lower if possible. If I could do that, then maybe I'll be uh, better off. So, yeah, the event was great. I just finally put on my uh, spares. I, I ended up burning my dailies because uh, I was too lazy to change them, especially after being awake for uh, 20, 26 hours or so it was. It was pretty bad. So I just kind of like left my dailies on there, forgot they were at 40 PSI, and uh, basically killed them in about two runs from probably about 70% of tread life on the tire. So that was kind of shitty. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do anything with the car this weekend um, other than change the oil. I already changed the rear wheels back to the spares. So I just kind of want to drive it around. I haven't really driven it uh, lately. I've been driving the 4Runner and uh, yeah, I kind of miss it, but it's just so hot. And I do have AC in the car, but my compressor is bad and the condenser is actually leaking. So I've been uh, so focused on driving drift events that I haven't really set aside any time to get the AC working. So if I do that, then it'll be the daily that I wished it was for the longest time. But I've just been driving the car to the ground every event that I drive. And it's meant to be driven so I can't complain and it's really not giving me any other issues other than overheating so AC is the least of my my worries right now <laughs> Philip, where are you going Philip? we picked up the engine and now I have to fucking figure out what I need to buy well, at least now I know exactly what I can buy. I don't even know what engine I got. What is it, a V8? Yeah, it's a V8. VQ36. VQ36. VQ it's not even released yet. I'm gonna tear it down, buy new seals. Think I should even borrow with, bother with the crank and shit? Just send it? That's the words to live by. Just send it. Bam. So I'm gonna do the carbon test that you do for your coolant system. Basically, you put this liquid inside of this syringe style deal up until it hits this line and you stick it on your radiator. So you're gonna have an air gap at the top of your radiator so, so you don't mix your coolant with the test fluid and it's gonna either stay blue or change colors if it's good or bad. If it's bad, it turns yellow. If it's good, it does nothing. I'm waiting for the battery to charge up a bit and then I'm gonna start the engine and see what happens. But I think number six cylinder uh, plug was wet when I pulled it out and it was a bit oily. So it's either rings are done or Valve seals or something. Huh? Where's the bug spray? Bug spray. And the forerunner. Necessity in Florida. This is it. This is what you need. If you're ever gonna come visit Florida, 
get this. So the primary reason I'm doing this test is because the car is smoking on throttle and on diesel and it's just smoking a lot. Um, idle not so much but another reason is the coolant level in my actual radiator itself seems to be dropping significantly. When I go out in the back and smell, the smell whatever is burning it doesn't really smell like oil or coolant or anything it's just weird. Yeah, so, so I'm pretty sure you gotta have the car running. So, because it takes combustion gases or exhaust fumes to uh, trigger this fluid, so. And it smells like oil. So I think number six might definitely be done. tire smoke or oil smoke and let me show you guys how bad it is I close this so get the visual here but uh Maybe I'm A-OK, -okay. who fucking knows? The only other test I can do now is fucking... Break it. Probably break it, yeah. I do have to pull my wastegate though, to figure out if the diaphragm and all that stuff's okay. But... I don't know, this is so weird. might be a little hurt so hopefully the 240 is okay but this is gonna be the primary focus for the next year I'm gonna try and go for the Pro AM series uh, by East 10 drift uh, they have I think four rounds which is all in uh, Tennessee and North Carolina so it's gonna be kind of convenient because we are on the East Coast so yeah this will be my little engine that I'm gonna take apart, rebuild. Basically just, just tear it down, look it up, over. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep on sending it for now. <laughs> Honestly, 
the uh, coolant little uh, idea that I had going on for a while, um, which is basically this swirl pot feeding into an electric water pump that feeds to the water pipe, that feeds to the mechanical water pump from the engine and circulates the coolant that way. Um, I ended up figuring out that the wiring for the electrical water pump was intermittent, so it actually wasn't turning on at times. And I think that might have been the cause of my overheating because ideally it's supposed to, you know, circulate and not act so much as a restriction. It's official, it's dead. Number six cylinder is likely the one to be fouled out now, so my engine is uh, misfiring. So I guess I gotta pull the engine out now. So great. I could either rebuild that other head. Give up on life. Probably. Do oil ring too or something. Oh, could the control crack, ring? Could be a crack piston. My lead at work was like, You broke your car? I don't understand. You treat it so well. <laughs> I was like, Oh, God. I guess now I have two projects to do. Pull the engine out of this car. Put this engine on a test on the engine stand. Life. God damn it. So, this is gonna be my second time tearing this, no, third time. Second or third time tearing this engine apart. 